Are you fed up with looking at the current new gen faces for Football Manager 2024? Well then you've come to the right place because today we're going to install a new gen face pack that's going to make all of your new gens look very fancy. Let's take a look. Okay then, so those who are unfamiliar with the issue, this is what new gens look like in the game. I've just got a version of the game that I simulated forward to 2041. It's one one where I've tested putting my own new gen into the game. So you can see me there as one of the players at Blackburn Rovers. You can see all of the players. We're going to just go through some Premier League teams at the moment and show you the vast array of very ugly new gen faces that you can see for the vast majority of players. Obviously we're in 2041, so we're nearly 20 years into the future and they're all very dodgy looking players. And now this is because um, they are basically the player faces from the 3D match engine. They are the same players that exist in the match engine. You don't need to see their faces in the match engine and I'm glad you don't because they look like this. But you can make them all look better and that is what we're going to do today. So if you go to the link on the Sort It Out SI website, it will be taken to this page where you can download the ultra realistic Nugan Faces face pack. Uh, you can just download it here, quite simple, and then the instructions are also on that page. So it's a zip file that will download. Uh, it's about three gigabytes in total size. And if you want to read along with the written instructions as well as watching this video, you can simply click on the how to install ultra realistic Nugan Faces mega pack instructions here so once we've downloaded everything we can follow these instructions along what else we need to download as well is the Nugan manager which you could do by visiting this page which we'll go to right now uh, and that will take you to another download here where you can download either the Windows installer or the Mac installer now the instructions are very slightly different if you're on Mac uh, but basically it's a slightly different named file that you need to download and a different download as well so you can download the Windows installer as well and we'll go through the Windows method as I say, Mac is very, very similar. It's just a slightly different file, and there's an error message that will pop up as well, which you can get around by the instructions on screen, uh, which we'll go through there. Uh, read them at your leisure. Right, so we're downloading the Nugan face pack. We're downloading the Nugan manager, and these are the instructions that we'll have on screen in a second, which we're going to follow along with to get your faces into the game as well. Right then, so this is what your download folder will look like. You will have the Nugan Manager installer and the Nugan Faces. They're both zip files. You need to extract them however you normally extract zip files. I use 7-zip. I'm just extracting them to my downloads folder. I will move them in a second. And what we will need to do is move them into certain folders. So if you are on Windows, you're going to follow the same folder that I'm going through here. It's my document, Sports Interactive Football Manager 2024, and you're going to put them in your graphics folder when we get there. On Mac, it's a slightly different place. Uh, that is linked in the description of this video, and the best way to go about doing it is going to the Finder, uh, click and go, go to folder, and pasting the, the location from the description into that there, and it will take you to the folder you need to go to. Uh, when you get into uh, the Football Manager user data folder, you need to create a views and a filters folder as well. I've already got a views one as well because I'm using my own views that I've got in the game. Uh, but a filters folder is what you need as well as the graphics folder, which is where you're going to move the actual physical faces into when they finished extracting. And we're going to hopefully have them extracted in a second. But we need to install the Nugan Manager first. Right, so if we go back into our downloads folder, everything's extracted now, so we're going to move the faces across. So you want to take this folder right here. There's a, a Mac one as well, which has got the same thing in it. Uh, but you take through this folder uh, on Windows, move everything that's in there, so it's got a load of different folders that have got loads of faces in. Don't worry about what's in the folders. You just need to move it into a graphics folder. Now, you can put it wherever you want within graphics. You can put it within your faces folder. I'm going to create a new folder called Nugan Faces as well that I'm going to put this folder into. Uh, I'll also put the config file that we create later in there as well. But I'm just going to drop that folder in there. And as it's moving across, we need to go over now and install the Nugan Manager and move over the filters and the views that we are basically going to use in game to get everything in the right format to basically get these new gen faces installed and attached to the new gens in game. So if you go a quick look through this folder, you can see loads of different folders here of all different ethnicities. If you go into one of them, you will see loads basically of different players' faces that will be used for your new gens. Right. That's the files themselves. Uh, now we need to go into the folder where we've extracted the installer and run that as well. So if you go into a Windows folder here, there will be a Mac folder as well. If you're on Mac, double click that and install it like any other software on your computer like you would everything else. So it's going to go through a wizard here. We're just going to set up, do the setup wizard. Let it go in the background and move over our filters and our views into the right folder that we need them 
for the game. So whilst it's going along in the background, we'll do that and we'll put them in the user data folder. Again, that method is the same on Windows and Mac. Once you've found that user data folder, it's there, it's the one you use. So you're just gonna take this is new gen search filter and put it in your filters folder that we've already created. Uh, that is the only thing you need to do for filters. That's fantastic. Uh, and then you need to do the same thing for the views as well. And there are four different views because you can do four different things. Essentially, uh, you can do your squad, your player search, your shortlist, and your staff. So you can just add faces to certain things, or all of them if you want. Uh, you drop that into your views folder, and then they're going to be able to be picked up in-game. So that is everything from the downloads folder done. Uh, everything is moved over into the right folders. Hopefully the software will have installed, which it has done. And now we're going to go into game and get everything prepped before running the software for the first time, and to basically get things moving in the right direction for our new gen faces. Okay, so we are now in game. As we have said before, everyone's faces are a little bit ugly, but what you need to do is save your game and then create a new manager fresh of whatever you're doing in game. So you just go over and add a new manager, just create a temporary manager, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, you can basically, once you've done it, you don't have to save the game, you can just go back to the one you've just saved and load it up. That's all you need to do. So I'm gonna create a new profile now and just call him temp new gen, potentially, or temp manager, temp something, temp. We'll go with Nugan. Yeah, Temp Nugan is our manager. We'll uh, randomize everything. Just yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, click a few times, and we'll have this guy randomized head, nice blonde beard. Why not? Randomize his attire. Yep, green coat looks lovely. Uh, ability aids. Give him. An... Oh, he's got an eye patch. That's good. Uh, randomize accessories. Glass. Okay, the eye patch is gone for some glasses. We'll go with that. Right. Start unemployed. That's the key thing to do with this temporary manager. Just have him unemployed, and then you can. Just don't worry about anything else. So now what you need to do, uh, once you've got your temporary manager, you don't need to save or anything like that. You need to go to your player search screen, uh, which is what I'm going to do right now. So go to player search or scouting, whatever it's called. Uh, and in the player search section, uh, you need to do something uh, with the views and the filters that we've done. So go to a new search and there's a little cog icon at the bottom of this window uh, and click manage filters. And then you want to import a filter. Now this will bring up uh, the filters folder that we've just created. This is the is new gen search filter. You need to click that, okay it, and come out of this section. So that's now in there. Fantastic. Uh, and now the next step we need to do from here uh, is if we go into not quick search, now we need to be back in the new search uh, wizard that we've just been in. So if you go back down to the uh, cog at the bottom uh, and click on the is new gen search filter there, you don't want, if, well, you can save your current filter if you've got one, but you don't need to. And this is the additional condition that comes up now. It says is new gen. It, there we go. So you just basically, as it appears, is what you want to do. Uh, and you want to make sure that you don't exclude your own players if you haven't created a temporary manager or players outside of your scouting range. So it will basically just pick every single new gen and filter them. So I'm obviously in 2041. Uh, I've not got a massive database running, but there are loads and loads of uh, new gens in here. Uh, you want to go into a new view, an import a view. It's a script faces player search view. Uh, so just go from there on the drop down, import that, and it will look a bit strange. You have all your player IDs, your players and then a few numbers at the end, which basically tell the piece of software which faces to pick for which players. Uh, you want to click on any of the players and then select all by doing Control A. If there are a lot of players, it might take a while. The screen might look like it's frozen a little bit, but it's working away in the background. Just let it do its thing. There we go, it looks like we selected them all. Um, what we need to do now, well, it's not quite finished selecting them all, uh, but what we need to do when it has selected and you get the option to click on things, is go up to the FM menu at the top yeah, like here, the options menu, and go down to print screen, and we want to print basically a text file. Uh, that's what we want to do, and click OK on there, and then we need to go into a folder. So I'm going to put it in my graphics and Nugan faces folder, and call this file uh, just Nugan test, or test Nugan, or something like that. Uh, Nugan test, we'll call it, uh, and save this RTF file in that folder, and we'll pick it up again in the Nugan uh, manager software that we've just installed and then it'll tell the files where to go in game and create a config file. Okay, so this is what the new Gantt manager looks like. What you need to do is create a new profile, uh, but not what I've just done there, just click create. You want to give it a name. So you can have different profiles for different save games and different things like that, and it'll tell you where to go in different locations. So I'm just gonna test profile, select the profile, and then set the image directory and where the RTF file is. Okay, so once you've got them set up like this, you basically need to find the folder that you've just moved across with all the faces in and that RTF file that you've just created in game. Uh, you want to generate, keep everything the same for the first time and hit replace faces and that will map players 
to the images that we've just moved and they do it really quickly and we'll create a config file and save the config file in the folder we've selected so if we go here you can see a config file has now appeared and it will link all of the faces to the new gens in your game. You so can... in game, what you need to do at this point is go to your preferences menu uh, and just do as you would when you're adding any new graphics pack. Go to advanced and all. Make sure you go down to the skin section. Uh, use caching is off. Reload skin is on. And then either hit confirm or reload skin and let the game do its work in the background. Now, if you are using the uh, new game manager more than once, so basically you've got more than one save going on, you could get potentially conflicting player IDs for new gens in different save games. So it might be worth going through the process a couple of times and having configs that you have to move in and out. It gets a little bit complicated like that. But it is definitely possible to have different config files for your new gens in different save games. If you are updating a save game you've already done, there is an option instead of doing generate, you can add to or basically in the new gen manager there's a drop down where the generate is. It'd be quite self-explanatory what happens in those cases. Right, as the game is changing the skin and loading and the graphics, I'm going to tell you to have a look at our install guides here on the channel for all your essentials for Football Manager 2024. Uh, please check all of those guides out. Check out our league guides as well if you're looking for save ideas uh, and information about all the different league structures in the game. We've done about 20 leagues so far. We're adding to them every single week throughout FM24, hopefully covering all of the playable nations before we end of the game cycle and when we get to 25 we'll have covered every single league in the game right now the game will hopefully have updated and all of your new gen faces have been improved from the default okay everything is loaded up and we have real faces instead of the damn new gen ones that are very pleasant to look at so if we just cycle through the teams now we'll have a look everyone now has a face so everyone's looking more human than they did just 10 minutes ago apart from that guy right there so it might it might struggle to pick up some people occasionally for some reason but 99 percent of the players who are new gens will be picked up by that filter and added in they'll there'll be some way you can add them in yourself if you go in and find the player id edit your config file but don't worry about that 99 percent of the players will be picked up and it should all work seemingly ever so slightly ever, ever so occasionally something will happen where one player is missed. But you can see there's a vast array of players just by looking through the club overview pages. If we go into more detail in the clubs, you'll see even more. Uh, but there we go. We've enjoy in we've installed New Gen Faces. Hopefully you're going to enjoy your game a little bit more now that has happened and your New Gens aren't looking a little bit fugly. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this guide. I hope you followed along. Let us know in the comments if you have been successful. If you've had any issues, again, let us know in the comments. Go to the forum as well for more help there. Uh, and basically, enjoy Football Manager 2024. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.